Good day YouTube. This is a bit of a comparison video between Manjaro on the left and Linux Mint 20.1 on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get into it. So starting off, we've got Manjaro uh, Linux version uh, 20.1.x on the on the left right there. So really a rolling release here. So we won't too much get into version in there. And then on the right, Linux Mint 20.1. So both latest release versions here. Now starting off, um, what they're uh, the the Manjaro Linux is actually based on Arc Linux. So a very enthusiastic community of Linux users there. Then on the right hand side, uh, Linux Mint is actually based on Ubuntu. Also a very enthusiastic community as well. Uh, the Manjaro Linux, yeah, being a bit of a rolling release, so it just constantly updates. Whereas Linux Mint 20.1 is a bit of a, uh, a point release every six months or so. Uh, we'll have a look at the the desktop uh, environments, both of which are the default desktop environments here. So similar but different. Here we go. So we've got XFCE as the desktop environment on the left hand side for Manjaro. So it's a you know it's it's, it's a little bit more lightweight, it's still fully featured, fully functional, does what you need it to do there. And then on the right hand side, we've got of course uh, the Linux Mint's in-house Cinnamon-based desktop environment here, which is nice and smooth, very uh, let's say Windows-esque, but um, yeah, all the same there. Uh, next up, if we were to have a bit of a look at say the file managers. Um, I'll just firstly say that I do like the the themes to each of these, particularly on the Manjaro side. It's a very popular version of Linux, and it's just got these cool green mint tones to them. Uh, not to be <laughs> confused with Linux Mint, also with uh, mint-like tones there as well. But um, we are running on the uh, the Thuner lightweight file manager on the left uh, for Manjaro, and on the right we have the uh, the Nemo file manager, which is uh, basically a fork of Nautilus, which is in turn part of uh, a GNOME or known as Files. So it's uh, yeah, it's, it's a very very similar to Ubuntu in that way there. Now moving on, if we were to have a look at uh, some of the specs here and uh, have a look at the kernel, so you can see that uh, we are running a, a newer kernel for the, uh, the Manjaro side of things because it is a little bit more cutting edge, uh, well released style, whereas the kernel for uh, the Linux Mint is actually a little bit older, 5.4. The reason for that is it's, it's not based on the latest version of Ubuntu, but instead it is based on uh, the the, uh, the long-term service release of Ubuntu, which is uh, 20.04. In fact, that's called the focal fossa there if we have a look in some of the code for the sources list there as well. But um, let's have a look at the, the RAM usage because these are really booted up from scratch. There's nothing really loaded in the background except for these terminals themselves. And uh, we can see that uh, it does use a little bit less RAM on the boot up here from Jaro. So about 550 meg. And on the right hand side, we have about 650 meg for Linux Mint. So maybe just a smidge, a smidge more. That's pretty much it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment, subscribe, hit that like button. And I do hope to see you guys there in the next one. Cheers.